Hey chat, this is Seth here, and I'm making a response video to your transgender and, and homosexuals in Christ. Um, I want to say first that I, I really appreciate your video. Um, I think everybody who watched it could feel your heart behind it. And um, appreciate you uh, making an attempt to not be silent about the issue and to be straightforward. And I've also appreciated uh, all of our corresponding in the past. You seem like a great guy. I'm a part of a lot of um, Facebook groups of um, transgender or transgender guys, um, and there's there's a lot that goes on um, on these these forums of uh, transgenders wanting to kill themselves, or I see them struggling with mental illness, and it becomes really concerning, and I can't even name um, my, hand, my hands probably how many times I've heard of this in the last probably since I've been on them. Well, I've been on them maybe like five, six months because I'm six months on tea, testosterone. Um, it breaks my heart because a lot of times they, they want to kill themselves because their family members do not accept them. And I want to talk about that, about uh, acceptance. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and put this this video up on on your YouTube channel. So I'm right now. I'm just going to give a little uh, introduction in myself for those that don't know me. Um, I'm a 33 year old trans guy. Um, I spent eight years being being seen in a lesbian relationship. And then I came out as a trans guy, and my parents. My parents disowned me. They rejected me. Um, prior to that, those eight years, I spent ten years um, reparative therapy. Well, I never actually went to therapy, but I hung out in support groups with, with people, you know, um, trying to change their sexuality. Um, my family is very bigoted, and um, I, I grew up in a Pentecostal family. I, I'm, I'm very much, you know, the Pentecostal family and the word of faith that you talk about, like Princeton and Pr Prince and um, Creflo. I mean, I grew up around those preachers and those kind of those kind of um, those kind of circles. And I found my my wife at Old Roberts University. Um, like I said, I'm a trans guy, so I didn't look the way I did now. Um, <laughs> very feminine and like girly. I had a, we had a lot of people come and, and correct us and prophesy against us. But, um, we actually knew that that God put the relationship together, and the, the confidence it was just a really strong confidence. I was talking to my wife the other day about some trans-related stuff because. I was just talking, I, I kind of just assumed that, like, the whole world just knows my perspective, you know, like, especially my wife. And then she goes, this is this is some really good stuff to, to be talking about, because it really brings an awareness. Um, and I, I think it's really important that, you know, we, we do discuss things, and, and we bring clarification, because we're not, we're not always um, having each other's perspective. And I, I just gave a brief synopsis of my my past. Um, this, it's a very unique past. Um, very entrenched in the fundamental word of faith uh, culture, Pentecostal culture, and trying to change my my sexuality. It was it was really it was really painful. Um, trying to change my sexuality and I want to I want to mention some stuff that you talked about you, you mentioned wanting to know more about this population and then you also apologized in case you, you were saying something that was offended and you, you talked about how you wanted to bring up the subject but then you were afraid of, of saying something wrong and It just I really appreciate your heart and and your willingness to learn 
and I want to be a, a little safe spot for you, for you, like, to not, not feel like you're going to, like, say something wrong and then, and then offend me or, or any of that, um, because we can't, we can't really learn from each other if, if one of us gets offended and then gets, you know, doesn't come back and then clarify what they're trying to say. Um, I, I pretty much smiled through the whole thing in your video. Something I, I kind of was, was lack, lacking clarification on was the whole, um, you do, you do not see us as transgender. I remember when I, when I first came out to my mom as, as a lesbian, um, I came home, well, well, at first she tried, she tried to disown me and it didn't go very well. And then, um, the relationship ended up, um, not ending. And I, I came home and she, she treated me like a, a half decent human being. Um, like, you know, thank you for your, uh, Thank you for your morsels that you just throw out to me while you give my brother a feast, <laughs> basically, of acceptance. Um, anyways, I told her I, I was wanted clarification of what was going on. And she says, who am I to judge? That's God's place. Um, it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting sometimes how Christians respond to us um, queers. They... Um, they, they, they pass around the word acceptance really easily. We've got other families on Amy's side that would be like, oh, I accept you guys. And, but every time they want to come around us, they want to preach at us. They want to change us. And um, that's not acceptance. Uh, to me, acceptance is it's voting for me. It's celebrating me. Um, it's embracing me. It's seeing me as a part of them. <clears throat> That's acceptance. Acceptance is not them in their prayer closet praying against me being gay, praying against me being transsexual or whatever. Um, it's not them talking behind my back about how deceived I am and how they wait for me to come along. Um... It's not smiling to my face and not being honest because they're they're so afraid that I'm going to get offended, which I probably will. <laughs> um, then to tell me how they feel, uh, it almost it you know the silence it silence hurts just as much as condemnation. Okay, but it almost hurts just as much when people put on the, these 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 smiles and I don't know exactly what they mean when they say I accept you or. Um, I'm like, let's dig a little deeper. Let's let's dig to the root of your heart. Is is there, is there transphobia there? Is there, is there homophobia there? Let's let's deal with that. No matter how hard it may be to look at yourself, um, but usually when you, you try to shine that light on evangelicals or um, word of faith or <laughs> however in Christ people or whatever religious Christians. They, they usually squirm away, and they, they, they resist it. They, they don't, they just, all in their mind, it's, homosexuals are wrong, homosexuals are wrong. <laughs> and I understand your perspective that um, homosexuals are not wrong because they're in Christ, and that it's, it's, seeing, it's seeing Christ in their place, um, rather than, like, seeing, seeing the gay person. And I like the idea of, of not being attached to labels, because sometimes I just want to be just Seth. Um, and not be about, not everything be about my gender and, and my sexuality. Um, but we live in a society where it kind of is, because everybody condemns it. Um, and this is a part of who I am. As much as being in Christ is a part of who I am. It's, it's concerning when I, I don't hear a Christian say either two things. That homosexuality is wrong, or that, or them saying that it's not wrong. Because, like, I'm right here as, like, a trans guy. Um, I'm kind of speaking the of trans and homosexuality is kind of all slum together. I'm sorry if that offends anybody. Um, but here I am. Um, 
it shouldn't even really be an issue if it's wrong or right. And um, but when it's a Christian, I can't help but wonder: Are they praying about me, waiting for me to, to change um, my my gender or my sexuality? You know, are they waiting for me to get off tea and I don't know, leave my wife? <clears throat> You said you said that it doesn't matter if 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 homosexuality is is right or wrong, and it it does matter. Okay, put yourself in my shoes. If your relationship with with your wife was sin, you would that would be an issue to you. <laughs> um, I understand that you like Christ took all the sin on him, and so it's, it doesn't matter. But but sin is like it's a it's 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 like is it the Greek form is like to miss the mark or it's that separation between you and God like to me that's an issue I don't want anything in in my life to to separate me from God um, so that is, is, is always like to see to um, it, it, it is an issue um, Maybe I can ask for clarification because that kind of made me go, what? Um, yeah, definitely it, it is an issue. <clears throat> Which I just want to clarify, I don't believe anything can separate me from God. And I do not think that homosexuality or transgenderness or going on testosterone, any of that, I do not think it's wrong and I do not think it's a sin. I just want to clarify that transsexuals um, and gays and all of us queer people, we need more than acceptance. Um, it's, we need to be embraced as though we are not wrong, as though our, as though our gender and our sexuality is something to be celebrated. And that means like, if, if you were like in, in my town and we were like buddies, that you would have came to my wedding if I asked you. Um, I mean, that's a question you could sit back and think. Do I would I really accept Seth like that? Would I have, have have gone to his wedding and 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 celebrated with him and been able to smile and say, I'm really happy for you. And if not, then just just be honest with yourself. And then and if not, then look at yourself because we have we have centuries of just this this fear based religion um, passed down to us, and it, it's worth looking into. I want to get back to the, um, you do not see me as transgender. Um, I understand you see me as in Christ. Um, and I, I think that's cool, but um, I want to give you our perspective. You did ask for it. <laughs> and I want to say that um, that I like you as, as a person and uh, who you are, and I think you're a really great person. And um, I, I just... When you said that I'm not transgender, it, it, it brought up a trigger, triggering me. Um, especially considering the, pre the preachers that you've been putting up on your, um, your, your site. And um, the f familiarity with them. Um, the word of faith preachers. I come from, like Oral Roberts I told you, and I also come from Full, full Gospel Church that was associated with um, Kenneth Hagin um, and Rama and all of that. Um, you know, like confessing. Verify, I speak Christianese. <laughs> um, you could say like a little bit of like what you're trying to say, and then to me, I hear this. Like when you talked about um, eating Christ and all that, like it totally. You could just say that, and then I, I can, I can, take like a million words and then go off of it. Um, you say, I am not transgender. Um, and I'm hearing that through Christianese, especially when you, you bring up Christ and all that. Maybe you don't have the same background as me, but um, I remember trying to fight my sexuality so much that I would just walk around, I'm not gay, I'm not attracted to, 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 to girls, and because I looked at it as like who I am in Christ and... Um, was was more real and and more prominent than my my gender and my sexuality. 
So I would push it down. I would just, I would not embrace that part of myself. <laughs> and it, I did that for 10 years. We're not, we're not talking about somebody here who's just like, oh, I'm not gay, or and like tried it for like a day, and then, no, okay, any, any Christians out there, or people that think it's wrong, it's, this is not somebody here who just kind of tried to change. And I, I did not do that. I was all out just seeking God um, in a ridiculous fashion. Um, making an attempt to change. Reading every single book I can get a hold of on it. Um, talking to other ex-gays ex, um, ex about this subject. And... Um, it, it did a lot of damage. Ex, ex gay therapies, reparative therapies, conversion therapies, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. it. It does damage because it, it tells them to be ashamed of, of who they are, their gender and their sexuality. And I know you said that they're not, not to be ashamed because you see Christ and you don't, don't see them. But as a gay person, as a transgender person, so much of who we are is is based on your gender or sexuality. Uh, it, it's, it's hard for me to describe to you when, when you have lived this your whole life, like not feeling not feeling bad about being a guy, not feeling bad for loving your wife or any of that. And I understand that you got sins that maybe you felt bad about. But this is different. Like, what if the tables were turned and and it was straights that were condemned? And, and not gay. And I, I want, I, you know, I'm asking for clarification. If I'm if I'm wrong on any of this stuff, just tell me. But I get I get the impression that okay that you want me to receive grace and and then in, in order to change, like like we receive grace and what what God's done for us, and then through that grace, um, then we can change. Um. Um, every time I've gone to God about this issue, um, I've always felt celebrated. I, I haven't felt like he's like, it's about time you come to me to change. <laughs> or, I, I totally get what you're saying about how you come to God and then he changes you. Not you change and then you come to God. But my gender and my sexuality isn't something that, that he wants wants to change. And um, I really want to get this over to you. And if if you, I just want you to be honest with with me. You know, if you if you don't believe it, then you don't believe it, and we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. You know, like like there's acceptance here, Chad. You have acceptance here with Seth. I think you're a great person, and um, but I won't consider you an an ally. You will not be a, a trans and gay ally if you think that I need to come get grace and then and then allow that grace to change me um, you know there's that that phrase um, hate the sinner love the sin oh, wait a minute wasn't it <laughs> hate the sin love the sinner well <laughs> just so you know that, that scripture is usually thrown out towards us queer folks and we really we really do hear it that way we hear it Hate the sinner, love the sin. Because when people say that that phrase, hate the sin, love the sinner, we feel hate. Because you're not validating who we are. And and I just I wanna throw out there just all the all the um the suicides out there and and these are all coming from people that just can't accept who they are. They feel like they need to change themselves. Or they their family wants them to change themselves. Their families are obsessed with them changing themselves. Um, I don't think Mita talks about how much gay and trans suicides are really going on. Like I just told you about how I just heard about through one of my YouTube subscribers of a, a, one of the, a guy, a trans guy, killing himself. Um, this is a serious um, issue. My my marriage with my wife is so beautiful. Like we have the same ethics. We 
we mesh together, um, we celebrate each other. Um, there's so much openness and honesty